I have always been fascinated with the sponge. My mother used to use real sponges, like the kind that lived in the oceans. These were the ones that looked like a brain and Swiss cheese had a baby. I think it's so cool how these beige blobs could just absorb so much water or my spilled milk. Well now, flooding innovation can prevent by creating a sponge-like cement. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. The earth is covered with hundreds of thousands of miles of concrete sidewalks, which is good for pedestrians, but bad for the planet for two reasons. First, concrete is impermeable, so when it rains, the water runs off into sewer drains, collecting toxic waste, which ends up in rivers, lakes, and oceans. Second, concrete production accounts for 8% of all global carbon pollution. But Greg Johnson and Kevin Kuntz, co-founders of a company called Aquapore, worked with a civil engineer to innovate a new type of concrete that absorbs water without leaving a huge carbon dioxide footprint. I traveled to meet the guys in Spokane, Washington. So what is Aquapor? The best way to put it is a product or a concrete-like material that we've developed to be able to take on stormwater. So it's a permeable concrete to get stormwater back into the ground naturally. And why did you come up with this? How did you come up with this? There's kind of this push to get stormwater back into the ground. We thought the best way to do that was with a new type of material. So you still had the functionality of pavement, but it could solve the stormwater issue at the same time. Yeah, you know, we often treat stormwater like it's more of a problem than it is an asset. We think, well, hey, how can we collect that rain, keep it within the area in which it falls while modernizing our infrastructure? The proprietary recipe for the porous material that hardens in hours and not days was developed by civil engineer Matt Russell. So this is our base aggregate, basically, that goes into our mix to make concrete. This fine material doesn't have much use in the construction industry, and so it just sits in piles. So it's almost like we're using upcycled, almost waste product to go into our concrete. Aquapore's use of upcycled raw materials without the high heat processing of limestone a chief ingredient in regular concrete greatly reduces its carbon footprint. Yeah, so Adam, here's a table uh, of prototypes that represents multiple generations of the technology. We start here with a permeable material that is pretty expensive to make, hard to mass produce, but that is sort of where we started. This is permeable? That's pretty permeable. And then we go to here, which is a very economic, easy to mass produce, and the impetus for net zero concrete, which we hope to introduce to the world within the next year. Before cities existed, natural soil would just absorb raindrops and reconnect them back into the water cycle. With this material, we plan to mimic that as best we can. Aquapore's concrete is still in the prototype stage, but they're in discussion with several municipalities to use their material in upcoming improvement projects. And that's definitely a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm.